Good work, soldier. Tyson the Gypsy King has defeated Deontay the Bronze Bobber by knockout. He is the heavyweight champion. He is still undefeated with 31 wins. In the beginning of the event, the fight was delayed due to Wilder not wanting to come out. After a few minutes, the fight proceeded with the entrances. Wilder came out with his mask and Tyson came out with his Spartan helmet. In the first round, Wilder started off good hitting the body. That was really impressive because he showed different skills in the ring. In the in the second round, Wilder was showing defense and trading shots with Tyson. Tyson would hit Wilder with clean shots and accurate punches, just like the second time they fought. The third round was epic when Tyson Fury knocked down Wilder. I believe he was getting tired. Right there in the fourth round, Wilder delivers punches to the head and Tyson goes down in the fourth round. Tyson would go down twice in the fifth round. That's when I saw that Wilder dropped all the strategy him and Malice God had for this fight. He wasn't doing what his trainer was telling him to do and that cost him the fight. Tyson was throwing the jabs and hitting Wilder with all his power. Tyson did not look tired and kept punching all the way. From this point forward, Wilder was looking for that one punch and he couldn't find it and lost his stamina. In the seventh round, Tyson would hit Fury with his right hand, landing some big shots in the tenth round. Tyson would knock down Wilder with a big right hand in the eleventh round was the icing on the cake Wilder would get knocked out. Tyson Fury is dominant in the heavyweight division. Wilder proved is a warrior and will not give up. Thumbs up, soldier. Let's go champ, let's go champ. Let's go champ. Let's go champ, let's go champ. Let's go champ, let's go champ. Let's go champ. Let's go champ. Let's go, I think you could go to college and get a master's degree in nearly two years. So for a boxer to change his style, it's very easy to do. But no matter what Deontay Wilder does, I'm still going to knock him the f*** out. This heavy on Saturday night. It means total obliteration of a dosser. Total annihilation. That's what it means to me. 277 pounds. I'm going to put him in the Royal Infirmary after this fight. Don't worry about that. Now, you changed dras drastically for the rematch with Sugar Hill Stewart in your corner. What kind of changes and improvements do you expect in Deontay now that he's got Malik Scott in his corner? Nothing. It's one teaching another how to fight. Both a pack of losers, and they both ain't worth a sausage. So he couldn't teach him anything. Man couldn't fight himself. He was a So when you got teaching another how to fight, you're in for a real pack of cowards. Look at the state of him. His heart's rattling now. His bits have sunk up inside of him. There's a man here that's going to annihilate your daughter. Me, the Gypsy King. Tyson Fury's the name. Fighting's the game. There ain't a man born from his can beat the Gypsy King. Never mind a sausage like that there. Well, we apologize for the language, but... For the rematch, you predicted exactly what would happen against Deontay and Tyson. Just the final question. How do you envision this trilogy ending? With him severely hurt on the floor, smashed to bits. Looks like he's been run over by an 18-wheeler truck. He was complaining last time he had a cracked skull and an injured arm. Oh, I can't wait for Saturday night. I'm going to really severely damage him. He'd be unrecognizable after the fight. His little pretty wife down there will not recognize him. Don't worry about that. I'll send him home butchered like a butcher's block. All right. Thank you very much.